so cool. We arrived at Zaleski State Forest in the early afternoon. Checking the information board at the trailhead, we learned that the backpacking trail had recently been dedicated as a memorial to Selinda Rosenberg, a 20-year-old forest technician who tragically died from injuries sustained as a passenger in a UTV rollover while working a prescribed burn. This plaque encourages hikers to honor her memory through sharing our love for the wilderness and finding joy in hiking. So, we are, we're here, here, and we're, no, you're in front of where we're going. Okay. We're going here, to here, to here. So we're just going right to here. Oh, so 1.2, yeah. Well, a little over two miles. A little over two miles. It's not bad. Yeah, so we got to get cracking. Yep. We started the hike after filling out our registration for the night. We were eager to be amongst the trees, surrounded by the sound of the wind and the leaves rustling beneath our feet. It was mid-December with an expected high of around 34 degrees Fahrenheit or 1 degree Celsius and a low of 23 degrees Fahrenheit, around negative 5 degrees Celsius. This was our first cold weather backpack camping trip and we were hoping for snow. Some people might consider us crazy for camping in freezing temperatures, rightfully so. It's cold with the possibility of snow, no guaranteed water source and no heat except for what our bodies create and the promise of a warm fire to sit next to. But with preparation and perseverance, cold weather unlocks a new side of nature we don't often see. It also helps when you do have a raging warm fire and a hot meal to look forward to. At a junction along the trail, we followed a narrow creek to a cave and a small waterfall.
That goes way in there. Got a stream going. There's an old cut log in there. Oh, whoa. It's really old. There is. Oh my gosh, that rock is so cold. So cold and so wet. <laughs> Not what I expected to see. Put the moss on everything. So green. It's like lime jello. Oh. It's a type of plantain, which means it's probably edible and or medicinal. I just think it's so beautiful. It is really pretty. And again, the amount of Christmas ferns in here. <laughs> They're everywhere. The Zaleski backpacking trail is a spiderweb of interconnected trails with well-marked junctions, making it easy to navigate. Stopping for a little break here. We're actually getting pretty warm. There's a lot of pretty steep, short inclines, and then you seem to lose your elevation, go down a steep incline and then back up again. So we're getting pretty warm. I think I'm gonna take my fleece Patagonia off, go down to just my wool sweater and my puffy jacket. Travis is doing the same. I just don't wanna get too warm because when we get to camp, we don't wanna be sweaty because then we'll get really cold once we stop moving. So we just passed point O on our way to point B, which I believe is where we're camping or right close to where we're camping is point B. Yeah, I think it's not too much further past yeah. B for the campsite. So we've, we've gone about halfway. Okay. It is, oh, it feels so much better. Take that, that fleece off. Feels a little cold, but I know once we get moving, yeah. I'll get warm again. Doesn't take long to start feeling to too hot. To decide if I want to zip this or not. I'll do a half zip. It's really beautiful out here. Haven't seen anyone on the trail, saw a couple of people at the trailhead, but so far we're out here by ourselves. Not necessarily hungry, but we couldn't resist the opportunity to have a snack since we stopped. We have Justin's chocolate hazelnut almond butter. These make an awesome little trail snack. Mm. I mean, hello, it's chocolate. How could it be bad? Is it kind of cold? Mm hmm. Oh yeah, it makes it look like frosting. Does it taste like frosting? Mm -hmm. <laughs> it's really good. Have we had this one? Chocolate? No. I don't think I've had the chocolate yet. 
I feel like we bought it, we just haven't good. eaten it. I always end up eating the honey ones. Mm. Or the maple ones first. Yeah, that is like eating chocolate frosting. But it's good for you because it's almond butter. Yeah. It's good for us. Bias. It's good for us because we're burning a lot of calories just to stay warm and we're working hard carrying packs and hiking. So I'm sure we need the calories. Mm -hmm. I'm not even sure what time it is. All right, whatever you can get out of there is yours. It's only two o'clock. Perfect. We get in the camp around three, I think. Give us a little time to at least set up, get a fire going. Yeah, we're probably gonna have to spend a decent amount of time looking for firewood and make sure we have a really good stash. It seems if the area around camp is anything like the hike, I don't think we'll have an issue finding wood, but it is cold, so we want to have plenty of it. All right, we're going to keep moving. Got to get our body heat back up. Yep. It's starting to feel a little chill. Keep moving, get warm. One thing this trail likes to do, make you go up and then down and then go up again. Gain your elevation, lose your elevation, gain it all back. It's good for us. It's nice to get out, exercise, enjoy nature. Oh my God. Gosh, the size of the growth on that tree. Holy cannoli. It's like 30, 40 yards away, and it's ginormous from here. like someone took like TNT and put it inside the tree and it just went like boom and exploded out. It goes all the way around. What? That's so gnarly. We got to camp one. We made it. Didn't waste any time. All these campsites are nice. You know, a little windy today, but you know, it's to be expected when the trees have no leaves and we're on a big ridge, so. We're gonna get the tent put up, get our sleeping bags and everything set up so that's all ready to go. And then our main goal will be finding plenty of firewood and then cooking up some food and hot beverages. There is a ton of firewood around here, which I'm very happy about. So that'll make it easy. Yeah, looks like they did a big cut recently. A bunch of downed trees that they um, you know, just cut up. So we're gonna go pick at that rather than look for any standing dead, which you know, 
it's hard to tell sometimes, you know, in fall and winter because everything's barren. So we don't want to cut down a, a live sapling. Tent is up. Travis is getting firewood. So in short order, we will have a fire. I'm going to start cold soaking our dinner. We are having our dehydrated stroganoff again tonight. I'm going to let it soak for a little bit while we get the fire going. Hopefully while cold soaking, dinner doesn't freeze. It is right around freezing right now, seeing some snow flurries in the air. But if I can get it cold soaking, it will make it much tastier. The fire pit here is a little bit sad too, so I think Travis is going to try to improve that a little bit. We have these nice logs to sit on, this nice flat tent pad behind me, and like I said, tons of down limbs for firewood. So we are going to have a nice roaring fire, which I am so excited for, because my fingers are starting to get pretty cold. But that's why I got to keep moving, keep getting stuff done. I put on my mer merino wool buff. I put my Patagonia fleece on again under my puffy. So staying nice and warm, just as long as we stay active. been uh, cutting up some wood and my hands were getting pretty cold. The rest of me is warm from all the activity but hands are a little chilly. I don't know if you can see the snow, there's not a lot of it, but the occasional flake is floating down. Dinner time.
Yep, I think we're good. Oh yeah. This is my favorite meal that Nikki makes. I know she said it earlier how my first response was, you know, can we have stroganoff? <laughs> and it really is, it's just so good. It's so good. And especially like right now today, it's chilly out. It's gonna be perfect, so. Cheers. Dink. Dink. Oh yeah. It's really hot, but it feels so good. Mm -hmm. And it may be, there's a little bit of water with it, but that's just soup. It's just good soup. Cause it's probably, it's cold out right now. It's in the twenties, probably like the high twenties or low thirties. Cause it was 34 most of the day today. Yeah, it was a high of 34, so. Now that we're getting into evening, I'm sure it's below freezing. Mm. Cannot be understated how good this is on a cold day. I picked the wimpiest stick to try to push that one. It was like, <laughs> that's know. not going to do anything. What I thought I was doing. Embers jumped over here. Just sitting by the fire. It's only 5.30, I think, but it's already getting pretty dark. We made some hot chocolate. Mine is cinnamon flavored and Travis's is snickerdoodle, I think. We got, what is it, Land of Lakes? Yeah. They just sell them at the grocery store in individual packs. They have like a bunch of different flavors. So we just each picked one that we thought sounded good. We're boiling up some water to put in our Nalgene's and we're gonna put these in our sleeping bags with us as a nice little warm water bottle. Winding down, enjoying the fire. It's one disadvantage to winter camping is that it does get dark really early. So that's unfortunate and it is really cloudy so we won't have very many stars to watch but I think we'll appreciate getting snuggled up in the tent get a nice relaxing long night of sleep hopefully be nice and warm together and then we'll uh, get back at it in the morning we woke up to a fresh dusting of snow slept pretty well a little bit cold we're definitely going to make some adjustments to our sleeping system so that we're warmer next time. Definitely interested in getting a hot tent instead of doing cold tent camping, but this is a lot easier from a backpacking perspective because there's less gear to haul. Overall, a lot of fun. Just a little too cold this morning, so we're going to skip breakfast. We're just getting everything packed up. Hit the trail and then we'll worry about food once we're at the car. Whew. It's cold. I think the temperature last night, it said it was gonna be 22, feels like 17. And that feels fairly accurate. Whew. What are you doing there? Trying to put this in. Can I help? There you go. I got you. Oh, I didn't put these with it. That's okay. Oh, Just shove them next to it. And that'll do. Oh yeah, plenty of room. Well then. And then I have the pack light. Yep. I'm just getting all my side stuff put away before I get too engrossed. Trying to remember how we had everything packed to come out here. Never goes back the same way. We always bring extra bags with us just in case. So for instance, last night we had to use a different bag to hang everything. So we lost our clothes bag. So, you know, and it's also if you find extra trash or something that someone else hasn't packed out, 
It's nice to have a bag to put it in. I have hand warmers inside my mittens. So they're nice and toasty. So that'll be my reward for getting packed up. My toes are numb. I woke up with numb toes. And uh, I'm hoping that once we get hiking, they'll start to come back to life. Nikki suffers from a medical condition on top of it, so it doesn't make it any easier. So the fact that she loves to come out here regardless means she's a glutton for punishment. Yeah, I have Raynaud's, which causes me to lose the circulation and feeling in my extremities more easily than other people. So I have to be extra careful in the cold. I've been pretty careful, but it still happens. And just gotta warm them back up again. They're not to the point of like a risk for frostbite or anything, but just something to look out for. Well, nothing left to do, but hike out. We got about two and a half miles back the way we came. And with this uh, freshly fallen snow, it'll be like a whole new trail. So it'll be really fun. Yeah. After a final look back at camp, we were off on the snowy trails. As we hiked, we enjoyed the stillness that freshly fallen snow imparts on the open forest. Her conversations became shorter, preferring instead to appreciate the peaceful atmosphere and beauty that surrounded us with meaningful silence. We're back at the falls, or the little cave with a little little trickle through it. Yes, we are back at Old Hollow Trail Junction. I had a little bit of a spill up on the trail, actually. Slipped just, on some wet leaves and just hit went, his hip on a root. Yeah. Didn't feel good, but it doesn't hurt anymore. But it is beautiful out here. We're in the little winter wonderland. It's no. snowing light dusting the snow all around. It's just so beautiful. All right, time to hoof it. Carefully. Yep. 
carefully hooking it. All right, this is what this we're. This is the sketchy. This is the sketchy part. That first one, I think it's gonna be that yeah. one or the this... one after it, or the chunky one. Yeah, that's the chunky one. Winter weather can be harsh and unforgiving, but the rewards of cold weather backpacking make braving the snow and freezing temperatures worthwhile. The snowy hike provided a serene experience with its own unique beauty, incomparable to a summer hike. Oh, this is so cool. It is a beautiful day. We didn't think there was going to be snow today. Nice surprise. Yeah. Despite our cold toes and noses, we look forward to having more winter wilderness adventures together. You know how you just go through that mental checklist, like, you're like, we forgot everything. <laughs> ah, it's the end of the world. Guess we're just driving back home. Seeing some snow. Oh my goodness, I can't stop burping. Mm -hmm.